today, uh, over the last 24 hours, as was reported by The Guardian, uh, the UK is looking at a 15-minute home <laughs> test, and they believe they can implement that in the coming weeks. What is this? And, and the fact of fact or fiction on that. These are the tests. And and basically it's 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 a little cassette that uh, you just need to uh, can you show it to us, doctor? Do you have it there? Can you show it to us? Ladies and gentlemen, we did not plant this. Uh, this is actually a uh, give and take here. And of course, Dr. Ho has everything that anybody would have when it comes to COVID-19. Thanks for sharing this with us, doctor. So I'm cracking one open. So you could, these tests have been around for two decades for HIV testing in rural Africa, for example. It operates on the principle of trying to detect antibodies to COVID-19. And then if you see, you could put a drop of blood there. Put a little closer if you can to the, to the screen. Put, it, put a little drop of blood in the well here. Right. And then to put two drops of this buffer and then wait 10 minutes up to 15 minutes. And then if you see one band at, at the position C, it's negative. If you see any band at position G or M, it's positive. It's 15 minutes. This is old technology. This is something that we've been testing five or six of these manufacturers either in China or in Korea. Um, the, I've been trying to convince the FDA to let this out. Uh, I think we've been doing the validation testing and everything so that these things could go out to the community, but we need to educate the community uh, on how to use it because this doesn't become positive right away in the first week of infection. In the second week of infection, it becomes very good. And after that becomes very, very good. Uh, but the, the typical PCR tests that we now run on the swabs it's very good early on. And then of course, as the virus disappears and the, uh, the test becomes negative, uh, but that's when the antibody test becomes more positive uh, and, and, and more informative. So these are the things that, are, that we need to get out to the world. Uh, it's, it's inexcusable for, our, for the richest nation, strongest nation in the world that we don't have these things approved when they are in common use in China, in Korea, and in Europe. How much do those cost? And did they use those in, in China and South Korea during this latest COVID-19 outbreak? Yes, they did. And, and, you know, the price varies from $1 to $6, depending on your volume. If you buy a million, uh, it's, it's $1. Where are they made? Well, this one in particular is made in uh, Jiangsu province in China. And so they're about three inches long by about an inch. Is that right? Yeah, that's my finger. <laughs> wow. And, and so then the question is, is home testing safer, better overall, even if you could select from various types of testing, given it's at home, you don't have to interface with a healthcare worker? Yes. I mean, the, ideally, you could order these from, from, uh, from, entities like Amazon, you, you click on, it comes to you next day with, with the drop of the solution and, and perhaps a needle and a, a piece of alcohol swipe. Um, and then you have your results. Now you need to know how to interpret it though. 